Alright, what's good YouTube? So, I made this scene using a plugin called IvyGen that I just found out about. And while I was using it, I was looking on YouTube for tutorials. And there were a couple, but they were long as fuck and the Ivy they made looked like shit. This looks fucking gas, as you can see. So, let's hop right into it. I already made it, but uh, I can just fucking delete it. Alright, so, start out with uh, whatever fucking geometry you want. I don't really care. Why am I in the shading tab? Alright, so, I'm just gonna grab the default cube, so divide it a bit. Then, place your 3D cur cursor, 3D cursor, uh, wherever you want the roots to start. So if you place it here, it's gonna look like shit, because roots don't start in the middle of the fucking wall. So put it under. That's a pro tip right there. Uh, go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, search for IV Gen, or just IV. Click on this checkbox and it's done. Then Blender Kit. Uh, click on the checkbox and it's installed. There you go. Then press N to bring this little menu forward. I don't know why it's create, but yeah, it's IV Gen. It's fucking annoying to look for shit here. While your 3D cursor is on the object you want the shit on, you want to select your object, and then you want to press Add New IV. But before you do that, I'm gonna show you what the settings do. So, max IV length is how long the IV branches are gonna be. Thank you. Then IV size works the opposite of what you think it would. If you make this number bigger, there's gonna be less IV, but it's gonna be more spaced out. If you make it smaller, it's gonna be more concentrated. It's not gonna be smaller. It's gonna be more concentrated, and it's gonna look like ass because you don't want branches clipping and shit right this i don't know what it is this i don't know what it is no one cares uh the weights you can decide how the ivy is going to be distributed based on random weight primary weight i don't know what it is to the current direction there you go the gravity weight is how much the gravity will affect the ivy generation and the adhesion weight is how much the ivy is going to stick to your geometry i keep these defaults it looks good enough branching probability how many bra had the branching branching probability is the probability of branching of the branches <laughs> heavy branch size if you keep this default um your branches are going to be small as hell and it's going to look retarded so i keep it at 0 0.02 they're pretty big they taper at the end though it looks pretty good iv leaf size you want to increase this a bit you always want the leaf size to be bigger than the branch size because that's how iv looks i don't know it looks good Ivy leaf probability is the probability of leaves on your branches. I up this to 0.6. So, after you tweaked all this, add new ivy. And it looks like garbage for some reason. It looks like garbage, no problem. Maybe move your 3D cursor a bit. And don't touch anything in the 3D viewport or this little thing is gonna fuck off. You're never gonna have it again. If someone says, oh, you just press F9 and it comes right back. No, it doesn't. So, update ivy. If Blender freezes, it's doing the right thing. Okay, great. So it looks good. If you keep having trouble, tweak the settings here. Tweak maybe the IV size, so there's gonna be more IV. One thing you can also do is change the scene and then update it. Swap your fucking thing to Blender Kit. Materials, click on the I here, type IV, and you're gonna have IV stem. So select your stem, click on it, it's gonna download it, and there you go. Now select the leaves, go to material here, new, Switch it to transparent, VSDF. Switch to models on the Blender kit, search for Ivy. And you're gonna have Ivy Particle preset. Drag it wherever in the scene. It's gonna make a plane with the preset on it, delete it, cause no one gives a shit about it. It's like the leaves. And then in here you can go plus this, and then Ivy preset. This is the preset I already made, but I'm gonna show you how to get some nice leaves like this. So first off, this number is going to be real low. If you have a NASA PC, you can right click uh, down here and click on scene statistics. It's going to show down here how many faces the geometry you have selected has. So this is 500,000 whatever. If you want leaps on every single emitter, which are these black things, you type in here 547148 and your PC is going to explode. But if you're a same human being, um, you're just gonna put 5,000 or 10,000. By default, this number, hair length, is minus four. I don't know why, so just set it to like 30. After that, uh, if your leaves are like oriented in some weird kind of way, mine are fine, but if they're in some weird kind of way, the default here is velocity hair. Like, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't really fuck with it. So I set it to normal, 
and there's that. You can also do global rotations, like global Y, whatever. I don't fuck with it. Normal. Pretty good. Select the leaves here. Into your material, which is transparent BSDF, make sure you turn on back face culling if you're using IV. Uh, Cycles doesn't give a shit. It just doesn't give a shit. I don't know why I why EV. Turn off. No, turn on back face culling. Yeah. So, um, the emitter shit disappears. Cycles doesn't really give a shit if you do this or not, but if you're using EV, it does give a shit. So, see, render view, this is what it looks like. And with cycles, this is what it looks like. Pretty good. Yeah, it looks fucking great. Let me turn cycles off before my PC explodes. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have fun with it. Goodbye.